فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا دا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد We're in the explanation of the book ثلاثة الأصول written by شيخ الإسلام محمد ابن عبد الوهاب رحمه الله تعالى We are now going to go into a نوع التاسع the ninth type of من أنواع العبادة the types of ibadah that the author was mentioning. Al-inaba. The one we're going to go into is al-inaba, inshallah ta'ala. Qala al-musannif, the author said, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, rahimahullah, wal dalilu al-inaba, the evidence for inaba is, qawluhu ta'ala, the statement of Allah, wa anibu ila rabbikum wa aslimu lahu. What does the word inaba mean? Al-imam ibn Athir, rahimahullah, ibn Athir, rahimahullah, he says in his book An Nihaya. He says in his book An Nihaya, fi gharib al hadith, right? Wal athar. He says, "Yuqalu it is said anaba yunibu inabatan, fahuwa munibun." And he says it is ida akbala wa raja. It is when the person comes face to face and uh, and into contact with something and then it goes back and then he says and in the hadith of the dua is is and to you I go back and then the maddah of the word are you listening maddah to nawaba which is what it's originally from. The madda, which is nawaba, <coughs> that it comes from, it is hawla ruju'i, going back to something. That's why Ibn Faris says, النون والواو والباء كلمة واحدة تدل على اعتياد مكان ورجوع إليه ورجوع إليه. It is معجم مقاييس اللغة. Naam. That is what Ibn Athir said That is what Ibn Faris said Al-Raghib Al-Asbahani Rahimahullah He also said Al-Inabatu Ila Allahi Ta'ala Is Al-Ruju'u Ilayhi To go back to him Bitawbati With repentance Wa ikhlas al-amali And sincerity in the action That's what he said Um, so that's what it means Lugatan Linguistically What does it mean Technically Stilahan Technically what it means As Jurjani mentions In his book at tarifat Technically, what it means is that إخراج القلب is to take your heart out of من ظلمات الشبهات the darkness of the darkness of doubts. وقيل it is also said. He said this is all the kalam of Al Jurjani. He says and it's also said Al Inaba to Al Ruju min Al Kulli ila Malhu Al Kullu. It's also said it's to leave everything. To the one who owns everything. Waqila, it is also said, Al Inabatu, it is. Al Ruju'u is to come back from Min al Ghaflati heedlessness. Ila dhikri to the remembrance of Allah. Wa min al Wahshati ila al Unsi, al lowliness to. What's the opposite of loneliness? Companionship. Companionship, Uns. Now. 
That's what Al Jurjani said. Al Kafawi, he said, this is Tilahan. Kafawi says, he has a book called Al Kuliyat. <coughs> Kafawi says, Al Inaba to Al Ruju'u an Kulli Shayin. Ila Allahi Ta'ala. So he, he says, it is to turn back to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala and leave of everything. So it's to turn away from everything and to turn towards Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Ibn al Qayyim says, Al Inabatu is Al Isra'u is to hasten Ila Mardati Lahi that which pleases that which pleases Allah. Ma'ar ruju'i ilayhi fi kulli waqtin. And that means coming back to him every time. Wa ikhlasi la amali lahu and doing the act for him alone, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we've now understood what al-inaba means lughatan wa stilaha. We know what it means lughatan wa stilaha. Now we want to know, inshallah ta'ala, manzilatul inaba, the station of inaba. Ibn al-Qayyim mentioned something. The truth of the matter is, yastahiqu, it deserves to be written in ink of gold. And he says this in his book, Madarij al-Salikin. Madarij al-Salikin. First volume, page 416. He says, Ibn al-Qayyim says, Man nazala fi manzilati tawbati wa qama fi maqamiha nazala fi jami'i manazil al-Islami. Anyone who descends onto the station of repentance and he stays there in this in this particular position, then this individual will truly reside and he will truly descend on every station in Islam. فَإِذَا اسْتَقَرَّتْ قَدَمُهُ فِي مَنْزِلَةِ التَّوْبَةِ If a person's foot becomes firm on the station of repentance, Nazala Ba'dahu he then he then after that he stays and he comes into the station of Al Inaba. Wakad Amar Allahu Ta'ala and Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala he commanded Biha in his book Fi Kitabihi Wa Athna Ala Khalili Biha and Allah praised his loved one Labilah Ibrahim based on his this characteristics of inaba. So where's the evidence that Allah commanded it? Surah Al-Zumar, Ayah 54, where Allah says, وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ Turn towards your Lord. That's the command. And the fact that Allah praised Nabila Ibrahim, the evidence for that is, إِنَّ إِبْرَاهِيمَ لَحَلِيمٌ أَوَّاهٌ مُنِيبٌ As Allah says, <coughs> the Nabila Ibrahim is what? <coughs> He's a munib. One who turns to his Lord Allah subhanahu. Also, Ibn Qayyim goes on to carry, he carries on, he carries on saying, وَأَخْبَرَ And also Allah told us, أَنَّ آيَاتِ إِنَّمَا يَتَبَصَّرُ بِهَا وَيَتَذَكَّرُ The only people who are going to have true insight of Allah's verses and who are going to take lessons from it and take heed from it are أَهْلُ الْإِنَابَةِ The people of Inaba. The people who turn back to Allah excessively and a lot. Where's the evidence for that? <coughs> he brought the ayah in Surah Tuqaf. أَفَلَمْ يَنْظُرُوا إِلَى السَّمَاءِ Have they not looked at the sama? أَفَلَمْ يَنْظُرُوا إِلَى السَّمَاءِ فَوْقَهُمْ Have they not looked at the sama which is above them? كَيْفَ بَنَيْنَاهَا How we have built it. وَزَيَّنَّاهَا And how we adorned it and beautified it. Until Allah then says after what he say? تَبَصِرَةً وَذِكْرَ All of this is only an insight. And it's a reminder for who? لِكُلِّ عَبْدِ munib. The only body who's going to see all of these signs and take lessons from all of this are who? Those whose characteristics is munib. Ibn al-Qayyim carries on saying, وَقَالَ تَعَالَى Allah also says, and he's bringing now Surah Ghafir, the statement of Allah, هو الذي يريكم هو الذي يريكم آياته وينزل لكم من السماء رزقا وما يتذكر إلا ما ينيب. Allah says in this verse, 
huwalladhi Allah is the one yurikum the one who shows you the ayati his signs wa yunazzilu lakum and he sends down onto you min as-sama'i from high above rizqan provision wa ma yata wa ma yatadhakkaru illa man yunib and no one takes a lesson from this no one takes heed from this except illa man yunib the one who has these characteristics of inaba ibn al-qayyim carries on saying kama akhbara ta'ala as allah also has told us an thawabahu wa jannatahu li ahli al-khashyati wal inaba allah has as he has told us that his reward and that his paradise is for the people of khashya and we took that characteristics which is fear and it's a very what specific type of fear a fear that has in it what ta'zim and ijlal honoring and well inabati is what turning back to allah so the people who are going to receive allah's reward and they own they're also going to receive jannah from allah tabarak wa ta'ala are the people of khashya and inaba faqala allah says wa uzlifat al jannah lil muttaqin ghayr ba'id allah says he brings jannah to the pious people not from far but allah brings it to them hadha ma tu'aduna li kulli awwab hafiz and who live, who who was this promised to everybody who was what a web and he was what hafiz hey now that allah mentions man khashya ar rahman bil ghayb the one who fears allah in private wa jaa and he comes with what bi qalbin munib to those allah will say to them what udkhuluha bi salam anta jannah with peace ibn al qayyim carries on carries on saying he says wa akhbara subhanahu allah also told us and al bushra that glad tidings from him in the mahiya that it's for li ahli al inabati it is for the people who have this characteristics of al inaba faqala allah says wal ladina jitanabu wal ladina jitanabu at taghut an ya'buduha wa anabu ila allah lahum al bushra allah says in this verse wal ladina the ones ijtani ijtanabu they stayed away from at taghut they stayed away from what? Ta'ut. Kullu ma'ubida min dunillah. An ya'buduha to worship it. Wa anabu ila Allah. And they turn towards their Lord. Lahumul bushra. Glad tidings for them. What is for them? Glad tidings. So what we've now learned, inshallah ta'ala, is what we've now learned is the definition of alinaba. Linguistically and what? Technically. We also learned manzilatul inaba, the station of alinaba. Ibn Qayyim brought many verses to, to prove the station and how powerful it is. وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ We took إِنَّ إِبْرَاهِيمَ لَحَلِيمٌ أَوَّاهُ مُنِيبٌ We took أَفَلَمْ يَنْظُرُوا إِلَىٰ السَّمَاءِ فَوْقَهُمْ كَيْفَ بَنَيْنَاهَا وَزَيَّنَّاهَا Until Allah said تَبْصِرَةٌ وَذِكْرَىٰ لِكُلِّ عَبْدٍ مُنِيبٌ We also took the statement of Allah هُوَ الَّذِي يُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِي وَيُنَزِّلُ لَكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ رِزْقًا وَمَا يَتَذَكَّرُ إِلَّا مَنْ يُنِيبٌ Also we took wa uzlifat al jannatu wa uzlifat al jannatu lil muttaqin ghayr ba'id hadha ma tu'aduna li kulli awwab hafiz man khashya ar rahman bil ghayb wa jaa bi qalb munib udkhuluha bi salam wa usu tuk statement of allah wal ladina ijtanabu at taghut an ya'buduha wa anabu ila allah lahum al bushra so now that we've understood the uh, the station and of inaba we're going to now move on to the types of inaba there are the types of inaba anwa'u al inaba the types of inaba ibn al qayyim mentions this this is his kalam this is the kalam of ibn al qayyim from his book madarij al salikin from his book madarij al salikin <coughs> ibn al qayyim mentions this and he mentions that he says al inabatu that the inaba is inabatani two types the inaba are two types two inabas the first one is inabatun li rububiyyati wa hiya inabatu المخلوقات كلها يشترك فيها المؤمن والكافر والبر والفاجر the first one is inaba in allah tabarak wa ta'ala's lordship inaba in allah tabarak wa ta'ala's rububiyyah in his lordship are you there and ibn al-qayyim mentions and he says this type of rububiyyah this one sorry this type of inaba which is the one in allah's lordship allah's allah's rububiyyah يشترك فيها المؤمن والكافر 
the believer and the disbeliever share this one together. So this is not specific to the believers and it is not also specific to the disbelievers. And the barru and the fajr, the transgressive and the righteous one also share this one. And he brings ta'ala the statement of Allah in Surah Al-Rum وَإِذَا مَسَّ النَّاسَ ضُرٌ دَعَوْ رَبَّهُمْ مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ That when harm touches the people. So this ayah, what does it say? وَإِذَا مَسَّ النَّاسَ And nasa is what? The people. All of them. ضُرٌ Harm touches them. What do they do? دَعَوْ رَبَّهُمْ مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ They call unto their Lord. But in what characteristics? In what attribute? مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ Whilst they are turning to him. They're running to him. So Ibn al-Qaim says, فَهَذَا عَامٌ فِي حَقِّ كُلِّ دَاعٍ أَصَابَهُ ضُرٌ Now this is to every individual. Okay? And it is not specific only to the uh, the believers. فَهَذَا عَامٌ This is a general. فِي حَقِّ كُلِّ دَاعٍ To every caller أَصَابَهُ ضُرٌ Which harm touches him. كَمَا هُوَ الْوَاقِعُ As the reality shows. وَهَذِهِ الْإِنَابَةُ And this type of inaba. لا تستلزم الإسلام. It doesn't necessitate Islam. Meaning you don't become a believer by coming with this inaba. بل تجامع الشرك والكفر. Rather, it shares shirk and kufr in it. And he uses the argument. He says كما قال تعالى في حق هؤلاء. Because what did Allah say regarding those same people who did the inaba, who came with it, same. Same surah, same ayat. Listen to it. What did Allah say? He said, وَإِذَا مَسَّ النَّاسَ ضُرٌ دَعَوْ رَبَّهُمْ مُنِيبِينَ إِلَيْهِ ثُمَّ إِذَا أَذَاقَهُمْ مِنْهُ رَحْمَةً إِذَا فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ بِرَبِّهِمْ يُشْرِكُونَ لِيَكْفُرُوا بِمَا آتِيْنَاهُمْ So Allah states, subhanahu wa ta'ala, when harm touches them, they call unto their Lord in a state of inaba. Are you there? ثُمَّ إِذَا أَذَاقَهُمْ مِنْهُ رَحْمَةً And then if Allah brings and bestows upon them his mercy and takes them out of the hardship which they were in إِذَا فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ A group of them is what? بِرَبِّهِمْ يُشْرِكُونَ They start to associate partners with Allah لِيَكْفُرُوا لِكَيْ يَكْفُرُوا So they can disbelieve in him بِمَا أَتِيْنَهُمْ In that which he has given to him فَهَذَا حَالٌ بَعْدَ إِنَابَتِهِمْ Ibn al-Qayyim says He says this is their situation after they've done inaba That's the first type وَالْإِنَابَةُ الثَّانِيَةُ the second inaba is inaba to awliya'ihi. It is the inaba of Allah wa ta'ala's allies, the salihin. وهي إنابة لألوهيته. أما وهي إنابة لإلهيته. إنابة عبودية ومحبة. This one is not Allah wa ta'ala's rububiyya. It is in his uluhiyya. Is inaba to ubudiyatin. It is the servitude one, based on based on what, wa mahabbatin and love. It's out of ubudiyya servitude, and it's out of love that the person comes with this one. This is the inaba to awliyahi. This is the awliya that come with this. And then Ibn al Qayyim says, wahiya tatadamanu arba'at umurin. It consists in it four matters. Pay attention. This inaba. Actually encompasses all these four. This is this is why the, the inaba is called inaba to the inaba to Four things are in it. What are they? First one is mahabbatahu, wal khudu alahu, wal iqbal alayhi, wal irad amma siwahu. The love of Allah Tabarak wa Taala, humiliating himself for Allah. The second, third one is facing Allah Tabarak wa Taala wholeheartedly. And the fourth, which is the last one, turning away from everything other than Allah. Turning away from everything other than Allah. Ibn al-Qayyim clearly states and says, فَلَا يَسْتَحِقُّ اسْمَ الْمُنِيبَ إِلَّا مَنْ اجْتَمَعَتْ فِيهِ هَذِهِ الْأَرْبَعُ Ibn al-Qayyim says, No one deserves this name, al-munib, unless he combines and he gathers all of the four that were mentioned. Mahabba, Khudu, Iqbal, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, and Al Irad Amma Siwa. And then he goes on to say Ibn al Qayyim, Wa tafsiru al Serafi li hadihi lafdati yaduru ala dalik. 
And if you look at the pious predecessors, their, their usage <coughs> of the word inaba revolved around these four. It revolved around these four. So if you don't have these four, the name and the title Munib cannot be given to you. So we now taken the types of inaba there are. We've taken the types of inaba there are. Now let's take some textual evidences. Let's take some textual evidences regarding inaba, even that we did write. But there's a hadith that Al Imam Ahmad narrated Abu Dawood, Al Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, and other than them. Shaykh Al Albani authenticated it in Sahih Al Jami' and also in his Dilal Al Jannah. On the authority of Ibn Abbas, عنhuma, he said, Can the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yad'u? That the Prophet used to supplicate and make dua. Yaqulu, the Prophet would say, Rabbi a'inni wala tu, wala tu'in alayya. Oh Allah, aid me. Oh Allah, help me. And don't help anyone against me. Wansurni, oh Allah, give me victory. Wala tansur alayya, and don't give victories to somebody over me. So they can destroy me. Wamkur li wala tamkur alayya. Oh Allah, plan in my favor. And don't plan against me. Wahdini, oh Allah, guide me. Wayassiri al-huda ilayya. Oh Allah, guide me and make guidance, guidance easy for me. Wansurni, give me victory. Ala man baga alayya. To the one who oppresses me and transgresses on me. Rabbi ja'alni laka shakara. Oh Allah, make me one who has gratitude to you. Laka dhakaran. And also make me one who remembers you a lot. Laka rahaban. And one who fears you a lot. Laka mut, laka mitwa'an. And one who obeys you a lot. Laka mukhbitan. One who humiliates and humbles himself in worship to you. Ilayka awaham muniba. Make me one who turns to you, O oh Allah. Muniban. That's what we're looking for in the hadith. Rabbi taqabbal tawbati. O oh Allah, accept my repentance. Waghsil hawbati. Wash my hawba. Wa ajib da'wati. And accept my da'wa. Wa thabbit hujjati. And strengthen my hujja. Wa saddit lisani. And make my tongue correct. Wahdi qalbi. And guide my heart. Waslul sakhima tasadri. And also... Clean the harm of what the illness of my was in my heart. Ibn al Qayyim said something which I believe that can be said it's the haqiqatul inaba, it's the khulasa. Rahimahullah, he says it in his kitab al Fawait. Ibn al Qayyim says, Al inabatu. هي عكوف القلب على الله عز وجل كاعتكاف البدن في المسجد لا يفارقه. He says that the inaba is the اعتكاف of the heart on Allah تبارك وتعالى to do اعتكاف on Allah تبارك وتعالى. Just like you your body does اعتكاف in the masjid right and it doesn't ever depart from it. He said لا يفارقه. But then how is it? How can you do that? How do you do اعتكاف? وَحَقِيقَةُ ذَلِكَ And the reality of it is عُكُوفُ الْقَلْبِ عَلَى مَحَبَّتِ To stand over and to do i'tikaf anything that, Im, that brings Allah's love subhanahu wa ta'ala and to come with it وَذِكْرِهِ بِالْإِجْلَالِ وَالتَّعْظِيمِ Mentioning Allah in high esteem وَعُكُوفُ الْجَوَارِحِ عَلَى طَاعَتِهِ And also your limbs Coming with the obedience of his, bil ikhlasi lahu, in sincerity, wal mutabaati li rasulihi, and following the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
ومن لم يعكف قلبه على الله وحده and anyone who doesn't do اعتكاف on Allah his, his heart doesn't do اعتكاف on Allah alone عكف على التماثيل المتنوعة then the person what he does is that he does اعتكاف on other things which are worshipped besides Allah كما قال الإمام الحنفاء as Ibrahim said ما هذه التماثيل التي أنتم لها عاكفون What is it that these idols which you guys do اعتكاف on So in other words what Ibn al-Qayyim is saying here is If your heart is not doing اعتكاف on Allah تبارك وتعالى with إنابة And he mentions what he is Then your heart is going to wander off loving other people It could either be a woman It could be something else It doesn't matter So if you don't busy your heart, in other words, if you don't busy your heart, then it will busy you. It will busy you. <laughs> so we ask Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala that He allows us and He gives us the strength and to make us from Al Munibin Al Khashi'in Al Ta'ibin. فنسأل الله أن يجعلنا من عباده المنيبين الخاشعين التائبين I ask Allah تبارك وتعالى to make us all slaves of his who are منيبين who turn to him a lot who fear him and we repent وأن يرزقنا الفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار and that Allah gives us success by taking us to paradise Jannah and that he protects us from the hellfire وأن يحشرنا مع سيد المنيبين and that Allah resurrects us the day of judgment with the master of all of those who turn back to Allah Taala, the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, fi a'la jannat al-khuldi, fi maq'ad sidq عند ملك مقتدر, إنه ولي ذلك والقادر عليه. If I had said anything wrong or mistake or shortcoming, it's from me and Shaytan, and Allah and His Messenger are free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.